Hi, my name is Biffa, and today I am working in collaboration with Paradox Interactive to bring you a tutorial on the Building Themes mod. In the last video, we learned how to use the inbuilt district styles to apply themes to districts, which will change how the buildings in your city look. The Building Themes mod takes things one step further and also has some clever tricks up its sleeve. Later on, we'll be hearing from Bo Former, the mod creator, and what we can look forward to seeing in future updates. So let's get stuck in. First of all, subscribe to the mod on the City Skyline at Steam Workshop. Make sure the mod is enabled in your content workshop and then load up your city or start a new blank map. There is now a new option in your policies tab which can be found here under city information or here in the district under the themes button. In the themes tab you have to enable theme management and choose the building theme or multiple themes you wish to apply to your area. But here's a cool trick. There is also an easy to use theme manager you can access right from your city screen. Within the theme manager, you can choose your themes and then modify each theme to include or remove any buildings you wish. You can also filter your list to show what is and what is not included in the selected theme. You can show any certain sizes, show or hide building types using the visual filters along the top and also search for buildings that contain a certain word using the handy search box. For each individual building, you can examine the model, change the spawn rate, and also choose another building to upgrade to if you don't wish to have the normal random spawn upgrade. You can also create your own themes, adding whatever buildings you wish to it, and also delete themes here. So what can we expect in the future for the Building Themes mod? Let's hear from the mod creator Bo Former, who is well known for the many amazing mods. Ultimate Level of Detail, Network Skins 2, Custom Animation Loader, to mention just three. Go and check out his mods, they're amazing. So let's see what he has to say. Hey, Bo Former here. I would like to talk about the update for Building Themes mod that is scheduled later this year. First and foremost, I want to improve the stability of the mod and remove some of the incompatibilities with other mods. But I also planned new features, like a level range option for growable buildings. That means this same building can exist on multiple levels and it won't disappear on upgrade. This is very useful if you only have a small set of buildings, but you want to have a complete theme that spans from level 1 to level 5. It is also something you can find in reality, where it's called gentrification. If you have any other ideas, please go ahead and post your suggestions in the comments. So let us know in the comments below your ideas for future additions you'd like to see in the Building Themes mod. If you found this tutorial useful, then make sure you subscribe to this channel for more City Skylines tutorials and leave a thumbs up as well. Go on, you know you want to. Thanks for watching, I've been Biffa and I'll see you soon.